Good morning, my dear students. I'm happy to meet you all once again with a video presentation like this. In this particular video presentation, we'll continue with the remaining problems on exercise 7.5 on integration from NCERT textbook. The first problem meant for today goes like this x cube plus x plus 1 integral of dx divided by x square minus 1. I already told you in one of the videos earlier for any integral of the form integral p of x by q of x dx where p of x q of x are polynomials when p of x of, is of equal degree or greater degree as compared to the denominator and then we should divide and then proceed with the partial we, we have to divide and then proceed with the partial fraction let me do long division x cube plus 0 x square plus x plus 1 this is x square plus 0 x minus 1 x cube by x square is x I get it to be x cube plus 0 x square minus x anyway just cancel out subtracting is x cube minus x cube will go off this will become 2x plus 1. This will come down. This 1 will come down. And therefore, this is my divide, uh, dividend. This is my divisor. And of course, this is my quotient. This is my remainder. And I, I don't know whether I have told you already or not. We have to see to it. The remainder should be of smaller degree as compared to the divisor always. And for when the divisor here is x square. My remainder should be of degree 1 or degree 0. I remember carefully. Therefore, the whole integral now becomes x cube plus x plus 1 dx divided by x square minus 1. Let me call it as i. Will be is equal to dx integral dx plus my remainder is 2x plus 1 dx by I will write this as x plus 1 into x minus 1 as the denominator. I mean to say, uh, but I have an easy method, I will avoid partial fraction here, I will avoid partial fraction, the question, uh, answer will be easier, to avoid partial fraction I will do it in a bit easier way, just listen carefully, this will become x square by 2 plus 2x dx integral by x square minus 1, then finally integral dx by x square minus 1, this will avoid partial fraction easily this is also allowed x square by 2 this is of the form dt by t therefore log mod x square minus 1 and this will become 1 by 2 log mod x minus 1 by x plus 1 plus c that will be the final answer if you in, in your textbook the answer may be different using partial fractions etc it may be something different the book answer may be here, I can write this as log x plus 1 into x minus 1. Therefore, grouping log mod x minus 1 will be 3 by 2 log mod x minus 1. And of course, uh, you will have 1 minus half log mod x plus 1 become half log mod x plus 1. That will be the answer as far as I use partial fractions. Let me repeat once again the whole lot x cube plus 0 x square plus x plus 1 is my numerator that is my dividend x square plus 0 x minus 1 is my denominator that is my divisor x cube x square is x x into x square is x cube x into 0 x is 0 x square x into minus 1 is minus x subtracting x cube minus x cube will go off this will of course anyway 0 x square I need not write down x minus of minus x is 2 x plus 1 for this is my quotient this is my reminder uh, for the whole thing now becomes integral x dx plus integral 2x plus 1 dx by x square minus 1. Practically speaking, I am supposed to apply partial fractions here, but I have an easier method making the two integrals. This is the form dt by t, which becomes log mod x square minus 1. This is by formula dx by x square minus a square 1 by 2a log mod x minus a by x plus a. a is 1. 1 by 2 log mod x minus a by x plus 1. In your partial fraction method, this can be written as log x minus 1 into x minus 1 plus log x plus 1 I'll get. Now 4, 1 plus half will become 3 by 2 log mod x minus 1. Therefore, 1 minus half will become half log mod x plus 1. That will be the final answer. That will be the answer as far as partial fraction application is considered. As far as 
partial fraction application is considered. Next one becomes integral 2 dx by 1 minus x into 1 plus x square. Let 2 by 1 minus x into 1 plus x square to b is equal to a by 1 minus x plus bx plus c divided by 1 plus x square. Let it be. Now 2 equals to a into 1 plus x square plus bx plus c into 1 minus x. Name it as equation 1. Now substitute x is equal to 1 in 1. We get, you will get 2 is equal to, of course, 2a plus 0. Now for a happens to be 1. Now comparing comparing the coefficients of x square comparing the coefficients of x square in 1 we get what do we get automatically you mean to say here just let me compare the coefficients of x square comparing the coefficients of x square in 1 there is no x square in LHS here I mean to say a minus b See here, ax square minus bx square I will have. Therefore, a will be is equal to b. Anyway, a, b both are equal to 1. Now, comparing the constant terms, comparing constant terms in 1, we get, what do I get? 2 will be is equal to a plus c. See here, a plus c I will have. Therefore, my c happens to be 2 minus a, 2 minus 1, which is anyway 1. For all the quantities are 1 here. a is 1, b is 1, c is 1. Therefore, let me just rub this part. Let me just rub this part and proceed further. So anyway, previous answer, this is only the previous answer. Therefore, the whole integral now becomes integral 2 dx by 1 minus x into 1 plus x square will be is equal to integral dx by 1 minus x plus integral x plus 1 by x square plus 1. Now, derivative 1 minus x is minus b a minus 1. Therefore, multiply 2 minus signs here. It is very, very important. Remember carefully. Here, multiply and divide by 2. 2x dx by 1 plus x square or x square plus 1. Either way, you can write. Thus, integral dx by x square plus 1. Therefore, here is the form dt by t. Therefore, minus log mod 1 minus x. This is the form du by u. u is the denominator plus half log mod 1 plus x square and finally this will become tan inverse x plus c tan inverse x plus c this will be the final answer anyway this will be the final answer anyway let me just repeat integral 2 dx by 1 minus x by 1 plus x square can be written as a by 1 minus x plus a by 1 minus x plus uh, bx plus c by 1 plus x square. After taking LCM, 2 is equal to a into 1 plus x square plus bx plus c into 1 minus x. Substitute x equal to 1. 2 is equal to 2a plus 0. a becomes 1. Comparing the coefficient with x square, 0 is equal to a minus b. Therefore, a and b are equal. a is already 1, b is also 1. Comparing the constant term, 2 is equal to, here of course, a plus c a plus c, therefore c happens to be 2 minus a, a, b, c, all of them are equal to 1. Therefore here, multiply and divide by minus sign, so that it will be able to form dt by t, where my denominator is 1 minus x. This is the one du by u, where u is 1 plus x square, here t is 1 minus x, minus log mod 1 minus x, plus half log mod 1 plus x square, plus tan inverse x plus c will be the answer minus log mod x minus is also correct mod x minus is the same as mod 1 minus x they both are equal anyway they both are equal anyway i'll just try to do a more problem then i'll just wind off 
I'll just try to do the 14th sum. Let me just see quickly. The 14th problem goes like this. He says, he says, integral 3x minus 1 dx divided by x plus 2 the whole square. Let 3x minus 1 by x plus 2 the whole square to b is equal to a by x plus 2 plus b by x plus 2 the whole square. Therefore, 3x minus 1 is equal to a into x plus 2 plus b. Now, substitute x equal to minus 2 in 1. We get, what do we get? I mean to say minus 7 is equal to 0 plus b, which implies b is minus 7. Now, comparing, comparing the coefficients of x, coefficients of x in 1, what do we get? 3 is equal to a. 3 is equal to a. There is no x further. Now, for a is 3, b is uh, 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 b is minus 7. Therefore, the whole integral now becomes the whole integral now becomes automatically you just see my a is 3. Now for 3 integral whole integral 3x minus 1 dx divided by x plus 2 whole square will become 3 integral dx by x plus 2 or d of x plus 2 by x plus 2 and of course minus 7 t power minus 2 dt where my t is x plus 2 therefore this will become 3 log mod x plus 2 minus 7 t power minus 1 by minus 1 plus c therefore this will automatically become 3 log mod x plus 2 3 log mod x plus 2 this will become 3 log mod x plus 2 plus 7 by x plus 2 plus c will be the final answer. 7 divided by x plus 2 will be the final answer. That will be the final answer. Let me just redo once again. Let me redo the whole lot once again. I repeat 3x minus 1 by x plus 2 whole square is a by x plus 2, b by x plus 2, the whole square. 3x minus 1, a into x plus 2 plus b. Now, substitute x equal to minus 2. Minus 7 equal to 0 plus b. b is minus 7. Comparing the coefficient of x is 1 in 1. I mean to say 3 is equal to a. Over a is 3. Now, for this will become 3 log mod x plus 2. I will replace t by x plus 2. Therefore, this will become t power minus 2 dt where t is x plus 2. t power minus 1 by minus 1. The final answer will be 3 log mod x plus 2, 7 by x plus 2 will be the final answer. It is almost 13 minutes, the rest will try to continue the next video. Thank you students for patient watching.